Mr. Don Lamont is a cable news host on our competitor over at CNN, and most of the time he talks about cable news host type things, what the royals are up to, how a commercial airliner might have flown into a black hole, you know, the news. But Don Lamont is, most importantly, more than that. Don Lamont's a civil rights leader. And just the other day, he spoke to the Washington Post about his feelings on civil rights, and he declared, you may not be surprised by this, that America is a racist country. Quote, we're living in two different realities as black and white people, said Father Lamont. It was interesting. We read that and we thought, well, here's a guy who makes millions of dollars a year for presiding over a show that is failing. That seems like a pretty good deal. But like so many, Don Lamont is also a victim, a successful victim. And so we asked on the victim scale, on the scale of, say, Meghan Markle to Michelle Obama, just how oppressed is Don Lamont. What is the different reality he is forced to live in and as a black man in America? Well, we did a little digging and here are the details. Don Lamont lives in a $4.3 million home in Sag Harbor, Harbor, New York. No, he does not live in Section 8 housing. He lives in one of the whitest towns in America. In fact, 80% Sag Harbor is just 3% African American. Now, in the interview, Mr. Lamont said, America needs to see more people like him. He regularly lectures America about diversity. What he didn't tell the Washington Post is that in his free time, he runs away from diversity. His reality is that he doesn't like diversity at all. None of them do. But here's the most troubling discovery about Mr. Lamont. Now, you have heard from the White House, from the president himself, that white supremacy is a lurking threat. You might not always see it, but it's always there. Like Russian spies, white supremacists come in the dark of night, in the most surprising form. They're shapeshifters. Now, we're not calling anybody a white supremacist here, but you have to ask yourself, we're gonna put this on the screen now, what is this, this symbol of hate, symbol of hate posing as a cookie jar, doing in Don Lamont's kitchen. Do you see that? That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a white supremacist QAnon cookie jar. Now, we're not calling for the Department of Justice to look more deeply into this because that's not our place. We're a cable news show, not a law enforcement agency. But let's just put it this way. If you find yourself with a black face cookie jar in your own kitchen, <laughs> it's time to reflect. That means you, Don Lamont. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.